Okay, boy people. So, just randomly had this idea um, to come in and talk to you guys about. <clears throat> uh, this isn't going to be a tutorial so much, although I guess you could take it as that. It's more of a evaluation on a technique. Um, many of you are probably familiar with isolations, which I'm not all that terribly great at. Um, I could do like one or two of them, and if I'm doing with this, ah, split time, um, I can usually get a good deal of them before I mess up. Um, they're a very hard technique. Um, they're not what I'm going to be talking to you about, um, but they really do play a huge part in what I'm going to talk to you about. Um, cat eyes. If you don't know what a cat eye is, it's basically this. And I don't know how most people teach it. I learned it off the internet just by watching a few people doing it. And I found that I, the way I learned it was that I was thinking about it in a way that I don't think most people do. If you think of an isolation, you have the center of the poi here is what is basically isolated and that's where the spinning point is instead of your hand which is here um, the idea of an isolation is to do one full rotation with your hand and the poi and that's one isolation one isolated beat when I was thinking about cat eyes I was realizing that when you're doing them even though the shape is weird you're basically doing exactly the same thing one isolated beat except instead of your hand following in this direction right or whatever direction the poi is spinning um, your hand is just going opposite to it so when you think about cat eyes um, or at least when I think about cat eyes I literally think of them as anti-spin isolations because in spin isolation it has you following it anti-spin isolation because your hand's still moving in that circle is a cat eye um, I hope that's a concept that's easy for you guys to understand I'm sure me stating it out like that is but what you basically do is you move your hand in a full rotation and when you do that with the poi going in the opposite direction of your hand it creates a sort of cat eye look which is that sort of pointed top dropping down to an oval um, sort of like this I guess I don't know hard to make the shape without the um, actual poi doing it so anyway Hopefully that's sort of helpful for you guys if you're starting to branch into cat eyes or anything like that. Um, they're a fun technique. They're really bouncy. I haven't been able to figure out how to incorporate them into my flow yet. Um, anyway, if anyone has any tips, pointers, or feedback regarding this concept, go ahead and tell me. Uh, in the comments below, link me to anything you might, be, might think is useful, just like always. I'll see you guys soon.